Hello everyone. My name is Jay Howard and I'm a teaching artist with Community Word Project. Today we are looking at My Neighborhood Jams and this is a photo and poetry edition. On this edition of My Neighborhood Jams, we're going to be looking at photos and poetry to talk about how can we use photography and poetry to paint a picture and tell a story of our community. In order to do that, we're going to look at what makes New York, New York. What makes our neighborhoods, our community unique? To get us started, we're going to jump into an empire state of mind. Um, and then our empire state of mind is all about New York. What are the things, the attractions, the places, the locations that we love about New York? What are the foods that makes us who we are, that makes us New York? Empire state of mind. I got a story to tell. New York City is an interesting place filled with different cultures and people to learn from. I made you look. New York has a lot of fun sites like carnival fairs in the Bronx and Yankee Stadium. But I ain't got time. A fast paced city full of artistic people and businessmen. A hard knock life where we train to find people between jobs. A place where many fashion forward live. A moment for life. A place where people can develop their inner self and grow. In a New York state of mind, I know I can. We have other holidays that goes into the months. We dine off chopped cheese, Junior's cheesecakes, and churros sold under the train stations, halal Kennedy fried chicken, beef and broccoli, and potato salad. Drowning in my drip, dollar pizza is good. I'm on my New York-ish. After hearing that poem, I start to think about all those different things from New York that I love. When um, the chopped cheeses, the halal carts, the subway train, right? We have different unique things that make you New York, New York. And I want you guys to all to think about that. What are those places? What are those locations? What are those landmarks in New York City? Brainstorm for a few minutes, uh, write down a list of those things, favorite places, some that are well known, some that are not. Um, and think about those for a few minutes. Think about the museums, Think about the places you can go. I'm gonna take us on a little journey of New York, um, places that I love, uh, first starting with where I am from, the place that I grew up in. So we're gonna use something called Google Earth. Some of you might be familiar with Google Earth. So as we look at um, Google Earth, you can just launch it by going to google.com slash earth and you click on the launch earth and it will open up. And I'm gonna take us first to a place that is very close to my heart. It is my home borough, the Bronx. I grew up in the Bronx and I'm gonna take you to my neighborhood of Pelham Parkway. So this is the neighborhood that I grew up. If you are new to Google Earth, um, you can explore neighborhoods, right? So you can zoom out, um, kind of get to see the lay of the land. And as you zoom closer in, um, you get to see where I am from. So zooming out first, this is the Bronx. Um, zooming in, you see the New, New York Botanical Gardens over here. You see Fordham University. This is getting closer to where I live. This is Pelham Parkway. This is moving in, zooming in. This is the school that I went to growing up from first grade through eighth grade, public school 89. This is a high school that is close by, Christopher Columbus, Bronxdale High School. And as we move and zoom in a little bit closer here, this is where I grew up. This is my old neighborhood. This is my old building, my old playground. I remember spending lots of days playing um, on the basketball courts. Um, it didn't look like this when I was growing up. Um, there's some changes. So if you look at things, how landscapes may change, but some things remain the same. And for me, those are the memories. So I'm going to take you to uh, another one of my favorite spots in the Bronx. It is the Bronx Zoo. As you see, Google Earth takes you onto a rotated map and the Bronx Zoo. This is uh, a place where I spent lots of my days growing up. I used to love going to the zoo on Wednesdays. It was free. As you also notice um, in the corner, as we are, as what you also may notice in the corner is that they have something called these cards here. Um, with these cards, they'll tell you more information about the Bronx Zoo as well. So this is the Bronx Zoo, one of my favorite locations. Um, we're going to zoom back out and I'm going to take you to 
Manhattan. Um, one of my favorite places also, the Apollo Theater. The Apollo Theater. We are zoom in Harlem. This is around 125th Harlem. You can zoom in, see the things that are around it, and you can get a check a look at the Apollo Theater. Zoom closer, you can see the Apollo sign. Another place in Harlem that um, I enjoy growing up, I am a big basketball fan, right? So um, I used to go all the time down to Rucker Park. Rucker Park, you get to see all the legends, street basketball, um, people playing in tournaments. It is a great time. It's also against the Harlem River, right? So we get to see different attractions. You can use Google Earth to explore New York. Um, let us now go into the borough that you are all from, Queens, right? So we're looking at Queens. One of my favorite places to go is Compton's. It is a great place to eat. Um, it is in near, let's find out, a lot of us, actually. Um, it is near Zone 126, as you can see. There's a lot of different things in the neighborhood. Um, I usually go there to Compton's. There are a lot of different things, as you can see there in the neighborhood. Um, Compton's is located right in the Zone 126 neighborhood. You see the Queens Public Library there, Astoria, the Boys and Girls Club. Compton's makes some of the best sandwiches, the breakfast sandwiches. I recommend that you go there. Um, another spot that I will take you to is Brooklyn. Let's show off one of the most famous things in Brooklyn, which is the Brooklyn bridge right what is the brooklyn bridge i've walked across the brooklyn bridge it is a wonderful thing to do one of uh it's a long activity but it is a restful mind so we get to take a look at what is around us in new york city so the brooklyn bridge um a place that we will go to next is up to you it is your choice right i want you all to take some time to Visit different locations. What are some of your favorite museums or attractions like Carnegie Hall? What are some of your favorite restaurants to go to? Do you like to go to? What are some of your favorite restaurants to go to? Do you like to go to Junior's? Um, that is a spot out in different places, right? So there's a Junior's restaurant in Times Square. There's a Junior's in Brooklyn. Where is your favorite place to go? Uh, I'll leave you with the most famous arena in all of New York, Madison Square Garden, the home of the Knicks. And this is a live aerial shot of the MSG. So take a look at Google Earth, explore the neighborhoods. You can also go all the way around the world, right? Um, different things you can do. You see there's a globe at the bottom. You could spin the globe and take yourself on a tour from MSG and find yourself in a distant and new place across the globe and see where it takes you. As you see, I am wonderfully located in Astoria Park. I want you all to go on different journeys yourself. Think about the different locations do you wanna go? Do you wanna go to Astoria? Do you wanna go to Central Park? Where are the places that you wanna go to? Do you wanna go to Lou Heron Park, right? So where are the places you would like to go in New York? You're going to take a virtual tour. Sure. After we have finished exploring places of New York City via Google Earth, I want you to think about your own borough in particular, right? If someone was visiting your borough, what would you want to show them? In your borough neighborhood, I want you to find that picture in your memory. It could be a place or a landmark that has a personal connection to you. You're gonna really think about that location, write it down, um, and we're gonna be doing something with that location for today with our writing prompt. If you have a picture of that, Feel free to share it with us. We would like to know um, what are your favorite locations in your neighborhood to visit? Is it your um, favorite? What is your favorite restaurant? What is your favorite landmark? What is your favorite place to go? Share it with us. After you have thought about that location, that special place, landmark in New York City that means something to you, you're gonna write a caption that portrays that New York City image. In 10 words or less, tell the story or the experience of that image, right? If your location you're thinking about is Times Square, what is a 10 word statement or caption that can express 
how you feel when you are in Times Square? Does the bright lights capture your attention as you walk away and drift? That might be a caption for this image. Um, for me, I'll take a look at two of places that mean something to me. Um, the first is where I currently live is Bayshore. Um, and this is a picture of the Long Island Railroad tracks that I usually take. And if you think about what that experience is to me, if I think about what does that experience mean to me, it is expensive tracks towards the muddled same road. So that is what I will summarize or put a caption for that image. Um, As you see in the second picture, that is a picture of my neighborhood in the Bronx. I took you on a Google Earth search through that neighborhood, and this is a real photo. Um, and as you see, the landscape may change, but the memories are bright. So that is what my caption would be for my photos. What will be your caption? You're going to tell me in 10 words or less, a caption that summarizes your experiences or portrays the image of your location or landmark. I also uh, love a place called Harlem. So this would be a love song from Harlem from one of my favorite artists, Langston Hughes, a writer from the Harlem Renaissance period in the 1920s, poet, novelist, fiction writer. Um, and he has a wonderful representation of what is Harlem to him. So this is Harlem, Jukebox Love Song. Jukebox Love Song, Langston Hughes. I could take the Harlem night and wrap around you Take the neon lights and make a crown. Take the Lenox Avenue buses, taxis, subways, and for your love song tone their rumble down. Take Harlem's heartbeat, make a drum beat, put it on record, let it whirl. And while we listen to it play, dance with you till day. Dance with you, my sweet brown Harlem girl. For our full poem, we're going to look at our location. We're going to write a poem of a related experience that portrays a New York City image you shared or a different location. So thinking about that Langston Hughes poem, how he felt about Harlem. How do you feel about your borough? How do you feel about New York City in general? So you're gonna write about a poem about any of those five boroughs, or you can write a poem about any city or location. However, you must have a personal collect connection to that location. It could be your favorite place, vacation spot, restaurant, landmark, or et cetera. So your bonus prompt is to write a full poem that kind of captures that. I will share a full poem that captures how some people might feel about the Bronx. I know the Bronx is a special dear place to me, so I want to share a poem that means something to me about the Bronx. The Bronx, we are the solution. The Bronx is burning with desire, passion. The youth is on fire. The Bronx is fearless, brave, our music, hear it sing. The Bronx is loud and proud, the Bronx is beautiful. It's indisputable from the hub to Washington Avenue, it's irrefutable how we sound views from Fordham Road to the Bronx Zoo. Make your own stories off our avenues. The Bronx is renewable with all our potential energy. The Bronx, we are the solution. The Bronx produces legends, artists, game changers, and visionaries. Champions bowling from the courts of our borough that changes the narratives of our neighborhoods. The Sonia Sotomayors, the Kimball Walkers, the Bronx is Cardi B, the Bronx is Stan Lee, the Bronx is you, the Bronx is me. The Bronx is the future, producing the talent that inspires a hybrid to dreams. A hybrid of everyone and everything in between. The Bronx, we are the solution. Now it is your turn. I want to hear poems about your neighborhoods, your community, your borough. What is that special place, landmark, or attraction? You're going to write a poem that captures the way you feel about your borough. Your I love New York poem, your I love Paris poem, your I love whatever that location is to you. Share your poems with us through the Google form, and you can also share them with us on YouTube and Instagram. 